Yes sir, we're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Man Thing Build a Figure Wave Blade Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? The fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many mate the I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. All right, we're looking at Blade the Daywalker, a.k.a. Eric Brooks. This is the comic version of Blade. This is a figure that many of us have been anticipating for quite some time. They've been teasing different uh, Blade figures for maybe five or six years or better at this point. And uh, this is one that I really wanted to love, but I do not. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It falls somewhere in between. It's not a really bad figure. But it's not an exceptionally good figure either. There are definitely some some gripes that I have with this figure. Out of the package, he comes with this head sculpt with the little goatee and the red shades. I'm not sure why they picked red over black, but this look is uh, pretty accurate to how he's looked in the uh, comic books as of late. More recently, he was running around with the X-Men. The X-Men had like a big story arc where they were... Uh, going up against Dracula and Blade was assisting him and he was a supporting character in that whole story run. I don't know what happened after that, but, I, you know, I saw a couple of issues of that here and there. And I think Jubilee had been infected and had been a vampire for some time or something, too. And they were trying to figure out how to uh, cure her. And, uh, yeah, so this is the, the head sculpt that is very similar to, to that look in the comics. And it, it looks pretty good here. You can see he's almost got a bald head. He's got a little bit of hair. Yeah, this is an interesting uh, hairdo that he has. But this head looks pretty good. And he also comes with an additional head scope. And this one actually is not bald. It has a little more hair. It looks sort of similar to his look in the Ultimate Comics or a more old school Marvel Comics look. It's sort of like a, a hybrid of sorts, I guess you could say. But... Uh, it was cool that they added the extra head in there, but again, I don't know why they picked the red shades. I definitely would have preferred black on both head sculpts, and this head sculpt is fine. Um, I also would have preferred uh, maybe a screaming head or one showing his teeth or gritting his teeth or something like that. A little more angry, a little more uh, animated in a, in a sort uh, instead of the two kind of like just docile looking faces, but they both look decent And then the only other accessory packed in with him is this sword, which is the same sword we've been getting since <laughs> Since the return of Marvel Legends with the hand ninja and shield two pack if I'm not mistaken same sword we've been getting for for quite some time um, I guess you can count his uh, little harness here as an accessory too because it is a separate piece It can be removed as you can see uh, you know, it moves around, but the sword does sheath here on the back, and that looks good. You can get that into the sheath with no problem, no issues there. And he can hold the sword in either hand with no problem, and two hands. You know what, I actually wish the grip was a little firmer on the, uh, on the left hand, but it's not bad. Taking a closer look at the deco, like I've mentioned a couple of times, this is pretty, pretty accurate. I don't know if... Um, there was uh, in the comics he had on all black or if the, they've drawn it with him uh, having uh, blue pants or what. But here he has a uh, sort of like dark navy blue with the black top. This sort of looks like a vest. I like the little details here uh, with the silver and the straps. And uh, the vest looks like it's actually strapped on with the buckles and everything like that. Um, the pants look okay. I'm not a fan of these boots or the feet. I think the feet are, are really small. I don't really like how these boots work because I feel like they hinder the articulation for the feet. I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but he's got the uh, fingerless gloves and you can see the belt and his uh, buckles there. But, you know, it's okay. I think the skin tone is fine. Uh, the arms and the face match up. I do like the... Uh, sleeveless look again this is all accurate to the comic book so uh, i do like that all of that looks pretty good and uh, this harness looks okay maybe these little stakes in here could have been a little more detailed but i do like they that they took the time to uh, show all of these little uh, weapons or whatever you would call these things here on the leg harness 
and uh, you know the decos okay so looking at the articulation I'm gonna go over the basic articulation real quick and then I'll get into the issues that I have with this particular buck and some of the lack of articulation um, I'm not sure what buck this is I'm not sure if it's uh, parts from a couple of different things uh, swapped together um, I'm just not a hundred percent certain on on that if it's a totally new buck or not but the head is on a ball joint it'll go down pretty far uh, his head can actually go up pretty far as well. That neck joint is uh, pretty tight. Turn left and right, do a full 360. It'll pivot. Shoulders are on a ball joint. They'll go up pretty far. You can do a full 360. You get an upper bicep swivel. You get a double jointed uh, elbow swivel on the wrist as well as a hinge. The ab crunch is good. Forward and back, you get a waist swivel. Is a T-joint at the hips. The legs will come up that far. Splits look like that. You get an upper thigh swivel. You get a double jointed knee. There is a cut here at the boot, so it will rotate. You do get a little bit of hinge on the foot going forward uh, just a bit, going back just a bit, and you get a pivot. So keeping the focus on the boots for a moment, I do like that there is a swivel here because that means that I can heat and pop these out for something more desirable. I do not like these boots for a couple of reasons. I don't like how this flap comes down uh, to the top of the foot and it does not allow for the hinge to work fully you can't put the foot up so that means when you get them in a the crouching position and you're trying to get them real low the fact that this is not working and won't go up you can't get them real low you're not going to really get those kind of like crouching agile uh, poses out of them because of that and it's not going to come too far back either because of how it um, it uh, it's cut on the back portion as well so that is just whack I don't like the the size of these these uh, feet either they are very small and you know with small feet that means that it's gonna be harder for you to stand a figure or uh, keep them standing when you get them into dynamic poses or crouching poses or what have you so this was a, a, a whack decision as far as the boots I don't like them at all but yeah take a look at that you know I got them crouching as low as I can but because the hinge on the foot does not go up more you won't get them flat-footed and able to stand uh, like this you know you'll have to do something to keep him propped up on his tippy toes I mean if it was a break in the boot and some toe articulation that would help a bit too but these boots and these feet are just whack I'm telling you it's not I, I hate this and this is an issue that um, I had with the uh, smaller uh, teenage bucks for that they use for uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man and the ultimate Peter Parker Spider-Man and the fact that their feet couldn't go up like that I mean it's essential for a Spider-Man figure that's what Spider-Man does crouches in this position it's an iconic pose and this is something that you want all your figures to do for the most part you know and then my next little minor gripe is the way this T-joint works I feel like there's some resistance here and you can't push the legs in as far as I would have liked. I, I would like the legs to kind of be able to just cross a little bit just for more dynamic poses and just for more options. I feel like there's some uh, strange resistance that I don't normally see on some of the other male bucks. And then on the back side here, the way that his um, butt is cut um, is weird. It's very low and it does not allow for the leg to go back as far as I would like. Maybe that's part of the problem with the uh, pelvis here in the front too is just the way this whole entire uh, lower torso is cut is sort of weird and I'll show you because when you get him standing upright he's never really standing totally upright because you can't put his legs all the way back. I'll show you what I mean. So yeah I took off the harness so you can see but you can see you'll never get him to stand completely upright because there is no possible way for you to push that upper torso back because of how the butt is cut so he's always he always looks like he's kind of sticking his butt out a little bit I don't know it's weird I, I, I think you could probably uh, understand it better when you have the figure in hand but you know it just looks weird there's a weird feel to it as well the fact that you can't push that uh, the legs back any anymore is just really weird usually with with all of their figures with all of the legends uh, you know there is a little give here and this uh, this pelvis is just really strange I'm just not a fan of this particular buck I wish they would have done something uh, with that Spider-Man 2099 buck or something similar to that where he would have had butterfly joints as well somebody who's wielding a sword 
come on, you want everything in the shoulders and arms and to work. And so you can do everything that a sword wielding uh, person would do. So, you know, I just don't think this was the right buck. But I will say that, uh, you know, this is light years ahead of everything that they showed previously for Blade. Because, you know, originally they wanted to put him on that old Nick Fury buck and, uh, you know, they had a couple of different things that they showed that just did not look good. This is the best uh, so far, no question about it, but it could have been better. And yes, I'm being very critical of this figure for a couple of reasons. For one, articulation is one of the most major selling points for me personally. If you buy figures and you just stick them on the shelf and you don't care about articulation, then sure, that's your, that's your prerogative. Me, I like to display, I like to pose my figures, I like to actually play with them and get them in, dis in displays and set them up in shots and all of that good stuff. And the more articulation, the better. So, you know, this channel caters to people that have similar interests to me when it comes to posing. So if that's not what you care about and you're going to get in the comments and say, oh, you care so much about articulation, shut up. I don't care what you have to say as far as that's concerned. So that's number one. Number two, I'm being very critical of the figure because it is a black figure or African American figure, not even African American because Blade is originally like from London or something like that. But it is a black figure and the amount of black action figures that we get across any line is very few and far in between so anytime we get one i'm going to celebrate that and i'm going to be critical of it and i want it to be the best that it can possibly be all right rant over for that so yeah looking at some size comparisons here you can see the uh walgreens exclusive namer on the left there and he's a little taller and has a little more bulk on his body uh, in comparison to Blade. And on the right, you can see Bullseye from this same wave. And Bullseye and Blade are about the same height. Now, if they would have actually used this buck from Bullseye for Blade, that would have been dope. They could have just kind of extended his height a little bit with some better boots, maybe. And then putting the vest on him would have give, given him a little more uh, bulk as well. So I think they could have did that and it would have turned out better or the spider-man 2099 buck which i sense have uh leaned toward it being different uh same articulation scheme as this bullseye but uh a little taller so they could have even used uh that buck let me go break him out i could have went either way um you know they they definitely dropped the ball the ball on uh picking the right buck for this guy and there's colossus on the left and like i said he was running around with the x-men more recently and I think that size comparison looks pretty good. Let me get Wolverine in there because it was the kind of modern era of X-Men, a Utopia squad. So Colossus was in this uh, outfit. There's Wolverine. And yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. I guess the sizes are about right. I know people can't wait till we get uh, Tiger Stripe Wolverine on this buck. And even the more modern look, the Astonishing X-Men look on, on this buck as well. Um, I guess that same look from Astonishing X-Men kind of carried over into this utopia era where blade was running around with the x-men but yeah a little bonus here uh this is this is what he needed a face like this and like i said i really prefer the uh the black shades but this was a head cast that my man uh dave castle was selling this was a head cast of the original um blade that they were gonna release some time ago if i'm not mistaken so i'll have dave castle's information in the uh in the underbar if you want to hit him up and and get this head cast to give your guy your blade a little more uh variety a little more variation but um but yeah man you know it's just it's this uh the head scope and uh and the hands man i wish there was some open hands and some different uh gestures for for the hands i was messing around a bit and was able to like swap out uh, the hands with some different hands if you have any other figure with uh, that are completely black uh, gloved hands then you can swap them out uh, the hands do come out and you can do some swaps and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be messing around with this guy and trying to kit bash him and, and do different things to make him better so that's pretty much what you're going to have to do because uh, I don't see them doing another blade anytime soon so aside from the uh, strange body mold and no interchangeable hands. He also didn't come with any guns or anything like that. If I'm not mistaken, Blade definitely uses 
guns and all sorts of weapons besides swords. He could have came at least with an extra swords or some removable sticks or something like that. He didn't come with uh, a face that kind of showed his power, which, you know, he's a vampire. It would have been nice if they had a face that showed his teeth. And then he also didn't come with his little signature trench coat. Um, I was looking at the Punisher figure. I did actually, the same Punisher figure from this wave, I did remove his jacket and put him on and put the jacket on blade so it will fit. And then I was looking at the arms. If you actually swap out the arms from the shoulder for Punisher onto this figure and put on a jacket, it might work. And then these hands are interchangeable, so you can just swap these hands onto those uh, onto those arms from the Punisher body too. I think it might work looking at it and messing around with it. Uh, I think I might give it a go uh, once I get an extra Punisher and an extra uh, blade. But uh, it's essential that I swap out these boots too. You know, it's just work you got to do. Definitely not the definitive blade just yet. Well, it is because <laughs> it's the only one we have. But, you know, it could have been better. You still got to pick this guy up if you want to complete the man thing. Build a figure. And, uh, you know, I'm on the fence about this one. It's not one I would highly recommend. But, you know, like I said, you got to get it if you want to complete the bath for this wave. All right, so I'll be doing the bath up next. Thanks for hanging out with me. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.